So in this video, I want to talk about some of the most important concepts for energy and motion on the MCAT. That's a couple of equations. First of all, the equation F equals MA. And of course, that's, so let's write out each of the variables, what they mean. This is force. And the unit for force is newtons. M is mass. The unit is kilograms. And A is acceleration. And acceleration is uh, meters per second squared. Knowing the units is very important. Um, oftentimes, the MCAT will give you units, or the MCAT will always give you the answers, the units of the answers. And so knowing units will really be, help you to solve the problem. Um, so we got F equals MA. And then the next equation that we should know is work equals force times distance. And again, work, so, so work is measured in, let's use the correct pen. So work is measured in, and that's measured in joules. Uh, and then force is measured, of course, as we saw here, force in newtons. And then distance is measured in, of course, meters. So D is distance, and it's measured in meters. And the last equation that I think we should be aware of um, is the equation for power, right? Um, now, we're going to see in the, elect the, the discussion of electricity that there's another equation for power, which is power equals current uh, times voltage. But here we see power, P equals work over time. Okay, so P is, of course, power. And the units for power are typically watts. And then work is, uh, is measured, of course, we saw in joules. Joules, and then time, of course, is measured in seconds, right? So knowing these three equations is going to be very, very useful for the MCAT, right? Um, very often, they'll give us any number of combinations of, uh, of these values, and, um, and it's very important to be able to use them to figure out work, power, force, uh, mass, acceleration, etc. cetera. Um, and so I think it's fairly straightforward. I don't think it's, uh, it's too difficult. Um, one thing I will say is just try to get an intuitive understanding of, uh, of some of these, uh, some of these equations and the, the way you can get an intuitive understanding. Let me try and, uh, try and help with that a little bit. Um, F equals MA, right? So force equals mass times acceleration. What that means is, uh, essentially, um, to be able to move something, right? So if we've got a little, say I've got a, say I've got a, say I've got a little cube, right? And I want to, I want to move it. I want to give that that cube some acceleration. I want to accelerate the cube. So we see based on this that it's a lot harder to accelerate a cube that's bigger, that's heavier, that has a higher mass, right? It requires a higher force, right? So this is the concept of force. Force is essentially um, a concept that we apply to something to to give it a to accelerate it, to give it speed, right? So just from an intuitive standpoint, I think this is a good way to to consider it. Um, and then we add the, the dimension of distance, right? So here we saw that we, 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 um, we give something kind of a push uh, to try and accelerate it, right? But when we add the element of distance, what that means is, so this is, um, so this is the element of force. Now we want to add the element of distance. How, how far is this, uh, is this force applied over, right? And so... This is why, this is the concept of work. Work equals force times distance. It's how long do we apply this force for, right? So like um, pushing this, applying this force over a short, for a short distance to move the, an object a short distance uh, is less work than applying this to move it a long distance, right? Um, so this is the concept of work. It incorporates distance. And then lastly, power incorporates time, right? So the thing about, work and force is it doesn't tell us how long it took us to do this, right? Um, if I, if it takes me, let's say, um, let's, let's, uh, let me draw a different example. Let's say it takes us, let's go back to the green or let's, uh, let's use this color. Let's say it takes us, yeah, we'll do this. Let's say we move this object, right? And uh, in, in one scenario, we moved it, let's say we move this object, let's 
we moved it from here to here in both scenarios, right? But in one scenario, let's say it took us took us 10 seconds. And in another scenario, it took us, let's say, five days. Right? Well, according to work, it's the same, it's the same amount of work, right? The object, the same mass, the same object, uh, the same force uh, is applied over the same distance. But we do want to be able to, to understand intuitively, well, how long did it take us, right? It's, it's, we're going to require more force over a shorter period of time uh, to move something very quickly than very slowly, right? And, and you've experienced this, right? If you try to, um, I mean, the distance, the difference between uh, being able to lift something slowly and being able to lift something quickly, right? Um, and so this is the concept of power. Power is uh, time dependent. Power tells us how long it took us to do something, right? Um, and so we see that with any unit of power, time is always uh, in the denominator. It's always per second. It's always how long did it take? Does it take to do that per second, per minute, per hour, etc.? cetera? Um, and so work, again, is a force being applied over a distance. Uh, force is a mass um, being accelerated. And lastly, power is a work being applied over a given amount of time or a, a work being applied per second or per amount of time, right? Uh, and so this, these are the three equations uh, that we should be aware of. And let's take a look at some, we'll take a look at some practice problems soon uh, to see how we can really apply these equations. But I think it's useful just from a conceptual standpoint for me to try and explain the concepts of, of, these, uh, of these equations.